Howdy fight fans, and it is time for another episode of Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. Sorry, Mid-Atlantis. I knew I was going to do that one day. Um, okay, so we have a big show for you tonight in the main event. This is a non-title bout, but the scientific champion, Mr. Grappling 2, will be taking on Jack Grappler. Jack Grappler is undefeated in Mid-Atlantis uh, Championship Wrestling so far, so... Um, with the win, he might earn a title shot there. Um, then in duos action, we have Proton and Neutron, the Galactics. It's Bobby Bomb, Stan Manley, Midnight Dynamite. And then uh, a, quite a classic Go Fight Pal um, feud across uh, numerous peoples. Promotions, we have Crimson Cross and Disturbed Youth. And then in our opener, um, we will have Revere and Revolt in duo's actions against um, the Hammonagers. And we also have four uh, standby matches in case we have time, which we always do. So, uh, we will get to those after the main event. So, this is our opener, so let's, um, let's roll to see who goes first. The coat of arms are orange, ham and eggers are blue. Okay, so Revolt is going to start us, I mean, yeah, for coat, and PV is going to start us for the ham and eggers here. Okay, so let's roll to see who goes first. Okay, that's neither team's um, fast forward, but Revolt's going to start us off. Eight. Um, okay, so that is a one or an even that they have to avoid. They get a five. Um, oh, okay, well. Okay. Yeah, so... Let's see if they, um, well, nope, they're beat. Okay. That is it for the Ham and Eggers. Um, so that is, uh, three wins in a row for the Coat of Arms. So, um, let us go to our next match. Okay. Get our dice ready. In the red corner, we have Crimson Cross. His opponent... In the green corner, we have Disturbed Youth. So, let's get this one on the road. Let's roll for initiative here. They both have fives for power plays. So, six and three, that is neither man's. But Disturbed Youth is going to go on offense. He rolls a three for the death drop. That means Crimson Cross needs to roll a um, two or a four here. If he doesn't want to have to roll his pop. Oh, he gets a two. That... That's actually pretty impress impressive there for a roll. Okay, five back suplex. Five crimson cross takes over. Okay, five optical clamp. Five dodge. Six rumble rating. Let's see, crimson is a two, and disturbed youth is a two. Okay, so crimson cross wins on that roll. Um, six, he's going to go for the rumble rating again. Okay, Disturbed Youth wins that one. Um, one, Lariat. Three, hit. Three, Disturbed Death Drop. Okay, so two and a four is what saves Crimson Cross here. He gets a six, that is his pop, so he needs to roll a four or he takes the loss here. He rolls a five and that is it. Disturbed Youth wins with the Disturbed Death Drop couple of quick ones tonight. Disturbed Youth is also the only member of the ZDL without a championship currently. And I think he'd be more than happy to get a shot at something. Okay. Oh, we're back to duos. Okay. So coming out for the orange corner, we have Neutron and Proton the Galactics taking on Bobby Bomb. Stan Manley of Midnight Dynamite. So let's um, roll to see who starts for each team here. Okay, 
So that's going to be Proton and Stan Manley. Let's get those out of light so you can see those. I'll figure that light out eventually. Here, get this moved. Glare drives me nuts. Okay, let's roll for fast forward here. Um, both guys have three, so let's see what happens. Okay. Um, so that is Stan Manley's fast forward. So let's roll pop here. Um, three, so he is safe. Stan Manley goes on offense. He rolls a six for the sweet spot. Seven, that means Neutron's going to come in, but Stan is going to stay on offense here. One rumble rating, so Neutron's a one and Stan is a two. Okay, so Stan wins that one. He rolls back for the rumble rating, so they're going to keep brawling. Stan wins again. Two, Sultan swing. Two, Neutron takes over. Okay, eight. So... Let's see, a one, a four, a two, a six. Okay, a one, a four, a two, and a six is what Stan's got to avoid here. Okay, he rolls a one, so he needs to roll a six, a seven, or an eight to save himself. And he gets a two, and that's all she wrote. The Galactics make short work of Midnight Dynamite in this one. So it's... Already time for the main event. So coming out first in the red corner is the scientific champion, Mr. Grappling 2, and his opponent, the undefeated Jack Grappler. So let's roll and see who's going to start us off here. Okay, a six. Name, that is neither man's fast forward, so... Mr. Grappling 2 is going to go on offense here. He rolls a 4 for the amateur action. 5 block. 2 double grapple wing. 6 hit. 5 rumble rating. Okay. Mr. Grappling is a 2 and Jack is a 2. Okay. Jack's going to take over on offense there. He rolls a 6 for the figure 4. So... Mr. Grappling 2 needs to avoid a 2 and a 4. He rolls a 3, so he is safe. Okay, 5, standing drop kick. 4, hit. 6, back to the figure 4. Oh, we'll count it. Um, so that is a 4, so he needs to roll a 1 to stay alive here. And he rolls a 2, and that is it. Jack Grappler picks up the win with the figure 4. And that means... Um, Mr. Grappling 2 is going to have to put that belt on the line against um, Jack Grappler in the near future. Okay, so we blew through those matches in no time this week. So, let's see what we got here in, um, in our bonus matches for the week. So, we got duos action coming up first. We have... Crusher Labruski and the Milwaukee Beast Rough House against the new breed of Nitro and Turbo. So let's roll to see who's going to start for these teams here. Okay, it's going to be Crusher and Turbo. Okay. So let's roll to see who gets initiative here. Okay, a six and a four. Neither man's fast forward. So Turbo's going to start us off here with a four for the Thunderplex. Three dodge. One air slash maximum. Eight. That's going to bring Milwaukee Beast in on offense. Three for Violent Bear Hug. Seven, that's going to bring Nitro in, but Milwaukee is going to stay on offense here. Okay, eight. So a three, a six, and a one is what Nitro needs to avoid here. He gets a three, so he's got to, he's got to roll a one, a seven, or an eight here. He rolls a five, and that is it. 
Rough House wins with the Bolo Blast. And another quick one. I think they're just going to all be quick this week. Okay. He's going to stick in the duos division. We have um, Iron Soldier and Muscle Soldier coming out. The Mad Soldiers. And they're going to be taking on Olympia and Outlaw, the Spine Busters. So let's roll and see who goes first. Okay, so Iron Soldier is going to start for the Mad Soldiers, and Outlaw is going to start for the Spine Busters. Let's roll for initiative. Okay, so five... Five is his fast forward, so let's roll for pop here. Two, okay, he's safe. Okay, so let's um let's get the soldier start on offense here. Five, Lariat. One hit. Seven, okay, so he's a four. What do I want to take here? Let's do the six. So he needs to avoid a four and a six here. Okay, he gets a three, so he is safe. Three elbow smash. Seven, so Olympia is going to come in on defense. Okay, seven, so let's do that six again. One, he is safe. Three, elbow smash. Five, pop. So he needs to avoid a two here. Oh, he gets an eight, so he is safe. One, rumble rating. Okay, so they are a three, and Olympia is a two. Five. Okay, so he gets an eight, and because it's a draw, um, Iron Soldier is going to stay on offense here. Elbow smash. Three block. We're going to bring Muscle Soldier in here to take over. Six power bomb. Two hit. Uh, four rumble rating. He's still a three. Okay, so it's... um. Nine and nine, so Muscle Soldier's going to stay on offense here. Let's do the one. So, um, Olympia's got to avoid a one and a two here. He gets a three, so he is safe. Eight, okay. One, three, two, and six is what Olympia's got to avoid here. He gets a four, so he is good. Back to offense for the Soldiers. Okay, we'll do the one again. Six, he's safe for Rumble Rating. Okay, stays on offense there. Three, knee drop for Olympia is going to take over. They finally get some offense here. Oh, and he loses that Rumble Rating. Uh, so Muscle Soldier is going to go back on offense. Oh, he hits the knee butt. Now this says a one here, but it's a duo, so they're going to go for the Doomsday Device. So a 1, a 2, and a 3 is what Olympia's got to avoid. He gets a 7, so he is safe. And 3, knee drop. 1, Olympia gets on offense here. 4, enforcer, knee drop. 6, dodge. 2, hammer slam. 8, okay, that's going to bring Iron Soldier in on offense. Um, 6, press slam. One, Olympia takes over. Five, Spine Tapper. So he needs to avoid a one and a three here. He gets a four, so he's safe. Seven, okay, so I get to pick one here. Um, is that a five? Yeah, let's go for the five here. So a three and a five is what Iron Soldier needs to avoid. He gets a two, so he is safe. Six, Danger DDT, one hit, eight, okay, so he needs to avoid a one, a three, and a five here. He gets a four, so he is safe. Three, Galactic Gourd Buster, I'm knocking my cards all over here. Okay, four, okay, Iron Soldier is going to take over on that one. Two, Elbow Drop, three, Block, one, Rumble Rating. So let's roll here. Olympia wins that one. So he's going to take over. Rumble rating again. Oh, he gets to stay on offense. Four. 
Enforcer knee drop, eight. That's going to bring Muscle Soldier in on offense. Six power bomb, two hit, um, two knee, knee butt, but that's going to turn into a doomsday device. So a one, a two, and a three is what Olympia needs to avoid here. He gets a two, so he needs to roll a six, a seven, or an eight to save himself. He gets a two, and that is it. The Mad Soldiers win with the doomsday device. I think they're two and one now. Um, since we started streaming these okay up next coming out first to the red corner we have glacier his opponent is laser man so both men have had some success so far in mid-atlantis uh glacier defeated honest abe i think in the first episode or crimson cross i don't remember and laser man lost to brian pillman but he also picked up a victory on the first show so um let's roll initiative here okay so we're gonna that's um laser man's fast forward so we need to roll glacier's pop he gets out of that with a one so laser man goes on offense rumble rating um so he wins on that his is plus two and glacier is plus three but uh, ties go to the person on offense so four rumble rating again okay he's gonna stay on offense there six typhoon knee smash two block four rumble rating okay tie well actually glacier's gonna take over there um three roundhouse kick six pop so he needs to avoid a four he does four rumble rating they're just brawling it out today Glacier wins on a 5-2 Tiger Bomb, 2 hit, 3 Roundhouse Kick, 3 Laser Man takes over, 3 Dynamic Drop Kick, 4 Glacier takes over, 2 Tiger Bomb, 3 Laser Man, okay, 3 Dynamic Drop Kick, 6 hit, 2, okay, Future Forum, so Glacier needs to avoid a 3 and a 5 here. He rolls a 1, so he is safe. Okay, 1, Star Crasher, 2. Okay, Glacier takes over, 5, Glacier Breaker. 4, Laser Man takes over. 1, Star Crasher, 2, 6, hit. Um, 2, four, a Future Forearm. So Glacier needs to avoid a 3 and a 5. He rolls a 5, so he needs to get a six here to stay in this one. Oh, and he gets a four and that is it. Laser Man wins with the future forearm. That is a nice rebound victory for um, Laser Man to come back from losing to Brian Pillman. Okay. And our final one, I should have put this at the top. Okay, so it's Mr. Grappling in action against... Dewey dropkick. Uh, last week, Mr. Grappling defeated Blue Collar Brawler to earn a shot at Lex Lightyear and the Mid-Atlantis title. That is probably going to be next week's main event. And he is taking on Dewey dropkick, who debuted in a defeat last week. Uh, the youngster's trying to make his name in wrestling, but it hasn't been going well so far. So let's roll for initiative here. Okay, Mr. Grappling takes over, but that is neither man's fast forward. He rolls a three for rumble rating. Um, he is a plus two and Dewey dropkick is a minus one. Nope, oh, Dewey dropkick still wins. Six, okay, goes missed dropkick. So what's this say? Opponent rolls on positive. So that did not go well for Dewey. Okay, six, Iowa backdrop hit four. Standing drop kick, two block, one Hawkeye hammer. So a four and a six is what Dewey needs here. Oh, he gets a three, and that is it. Mr. Grappling defeats Dewey drop kick with the Hawkeye hammer. Well, that is it for this week. Um, all the matches are pretty quick this week. That surprised me. So um, thanks for joining me as always. Uh, you can catch this 
as a rerun on YouTube next week. And join us next week. Um, like I said, it'll be Lex Lightyear defending the Mid-Atlantis Heritage Championship against Mr. Grappling in the main event. Until then...